everybody, I'm Melissa. Welcome back to Cloud Mom Month 20 with your toddler and with my toddler, Bracey. How much should my 20 month old be talking? Some 20 month olds have between 10 and 20 words and some have many, many more words, some as many as even 50 words. According to my doctor, there's a huge range of normal. That said, according to my doctor, you should at this point see the vocabulary increasing. You should see new words popping up. If you notice your child not communicating, not making eye contact, not trying to speak, you don't hear blabbering any attempts at formulating words and you don't notice any new words, definitely talk to your doctor. If your child is experiencing some sort of speech delay, the best thing to do is early intervention. So you wanna get that checked out and you wanna deal with it as soon as possible. Another thing you can do at this point, in addition to sort of narrating your own actions, is narrate your baby's response. So for example, you're cutting some cheese up and you hear your baby go, huh, 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 which is what they tend to do. So you say, Bracey, mom's cutting some cheese. Would you like a piece of cheese, Bracey? And then you say, yes, mommy, I would love a piece of cheese. And then you give your baby the cheese. So you're basically telling them through your words, how they should be articulating what they're intending to say. And that's another way to sort of get language into the equation as you interact with your baby. Your 20 month old social and emotional development. Well, a lot of toddlers at this point are showing a lot of frustration. They're showing a lot of being excited about things. Emotions tend to get a little more you know, intense at around this point. So I think it's a really good time to talk about emotions. Are you feeling sad? Are you feeling frustrated? Are you feeling angry? Are you feeling tired? And to get your child in the habit of sort of thinking and talking about emotions so that they become a little more self-aware, especially after they've had a tantrum. You know, Bracey's had a couple really big ones. And after that, I like to take them aside. Who knows how much this is sinking in, but I say, you know, Bracey, you really had a huge tantrum over that and it probably would have been better to just talk it through. Speaking about emotions, we had a really funny and interesting experience with Bracey the other day as we were leaving the doctor. We had a really good doctor's visit and you know, you, normally he cries all during the doctor's visit. So this one, he didn't cry at all. He seemed to really enjoy being there. Maybe he's forgotten about earlier shots since it's been a while since he had shots and it was time to go. And the doctor has like his own little office. We opened the door and outside was a baby. A woman with a baby I said, Bracey, look at the baby. What a cute baby. And he goes like this. I've never seen anything like it. He holds his hands like this and he puts his head down like this. And I'm like, Bracey, what's going on? What are you feeling? He's like, and he stood there like that for like a couple minutes, basically blocking the way into the doctor's office so that the other mother with her baby couldn't come into the office. And the doctor was like dumbfounded and the mother was dumbfounded and I was dumbfounded. We were all watching him and they're like, wow, he's totally jealous. And you know what? He was totally jealous of the baby. So I picked him up as soon as I could and I said, Bracey, you're my baby and you'll always be my baby. And then we got home and lately, since I've been nursing him, it's been really hard after the morning session to nurse him. I managed to do it a little bit, but I was like, oh, you're my baby and you'll always be my baby and let's go have some milk. And I put him on the breast and I was like, my baby, my baby. And he was like, and he actually nursed a lot better. So that gave me this crazy idea with nursing, for those of you who are still nursing, is that I'm gonna start watching some breastfeeding videos with Bracey and make that part of like what he sees so he thinks it's still like a cool thing to nurse because all day, all he does is see adults, you know, drinking out of a cup. So he's no longer motivated to nurse. So that just like gave me an idea. But anyway, back to the emotional part, he had like a jealous fit over this other baby. So I just tried to talk about it and say, don't feel jealous, that's a baby. There's plenty of room in the world for you and for that baby. What a nice baby that is. And mommy still loves you so much to provide a little bit of reassurance. How much should my 20 month old be moving? At this point, most toddlers are walking. Most are able to walk really fast if not to run. Most are able to get on and off the sofa. Many are starting to walk up the stairs on their feet, not by crawling. Walking down will be a more difficult activity that comes later. Some toddlers can stand on one foot while balancing against the wall. Standing on one foot, balancing, and also hopping are great activities for you to do with your toddler. Good physical activities for a 20 month old, get outside as much as possible, up and down the slide, 
onto the play gym, have your child try to use a bike as much as possible, either outside or around the house, just whatever you're doing, try to keep pushing it to the next level. Try jumping jacks, try downward dog, have fun dancing, jumping, playing, doing everything you can that's physical around the house. Try to avoid the amount of time your child spends in the high chair, in the stroller, and of course, now you're way beyond the bouncy seat. You want them as mobile as possible for as much of the day as possible to develop all of their different parts of their core body strength. When can my toddler begin to swim? The American Academy of Pediatrics does not recommend swimming lessons for children under the age of one because they haven't yet developed the requisite breathing skills to swim. Before that time, you can take infant swimming lessons to get your child used to the water and comfortable in the water, but your child won't be learning to swim during those lessons and they will require adult supervision and support in the water at all times. It is between the ages of one and four that the AAP recommends that children can begin to take swimming lessons. That said, most children will not swim independently until the age of four, and studies have shown that children who start earlier don't necessarily become stronger or faster swimmers. Please note that the number one cause of pediatric death in the United States is from toddlers between the ages of 24 and 36 months who die in pools. If you have a pool, make sure it's surrounded by a safety gate. Same thing about your neighbor's pool. Never let your child anywhere near that pool without adult supervision. And let me add one other thing with a scary story. It's not enough to have your toddler playing around the pool area and their adults just sort of milling around or talking or playing. Your child needs to be completely supervised in a totally vigilant way. I actually did have the experience of having a small child, nobody expected it, slip into the pool. We had to dive right in there after that child. Fortunately, we got the child up above in time, but that was incredibly scary and there were plenty of adults around. All it takes is somebody looking away for a few minutes and you could be facing an accident of that nature. Do not allow your child to be anywhere near the borders of a pool without being completely protected by a responsible adult's presence, okay? Safety first. Intellectual activities for a 20-month-old toddler. In addition to doing all the things you've been doing, playing with blocks, sorting colors, counting, playing with trains, using Play-Doh, which is a great activity, finger paint, which is a great activity, and getting your child into the habit of really developing their fine motor skills, you really can start to incorporate a lot of basic educational concepts and skills right now into your child's play. Encourage your child to stack the blocks higher and higher while saying the numbers and saying the colors. Encourage your child to place the puzzle pieces in the right place in the puzzle. Have your child push the train along the track and make up a story as the train goes along. What should my 20 month old be eating? Keep introducing a wide variety of very healthy, unprocessed foods, fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains, stay away from the white flour, the white rice, try to have brown rice, try to have brown bread, try to have whole wheat. Good sources of protein, fresh meats, try hummus, try lentils, and when it comes to dairy, try mozzarella, try mozzarella balls, try ricotta, Try different forms of plain yogurt. Stay away from the sugared yogurt. Stay away from sugary yogurt drinks. And get your child into the habit of eating all sorts of cheeses. Try manchego. Try gruyere. Try hard cheeses. Opt for those over processed cheese or processed cheese slices. It's much healthier for your baby. They contain a lot fewer harmful ingredients. What is my schedule like for a 20-month-old? Hopefully now you've successfully made the transition to one nap. Once your baby wakes up, you're gonna have a period of time before they go down for their afternoon nap, which is hopefully a bit later. The mornings are a bit easier for you at this point. As I always say with my schedules, these are guidelines. They are not supposed to be taken in a rigid way. It's just a guideline for how many times your child should be eating across the day, for when your child should be napping so that their energy level remains good and they get good naps and they have a good night's sleep. So with all that said, here is a sample schedule for a 20 month old toddler. 7 a.m. you can breastfeed and give your baby breakfast or you can give your baby breakfast and follow that by a milk or milk substitute. 10 a.m. try to give a snack. Lunch might be happening at around 12 p.m. If your baby's still nursing, you can feed and then give lunch or you can give lunch and then a milk substitute. 
have your baby nap from around 1 to 3. It's a good idea to have your baby awake as of 3 p.m. It's what the experts say. 3 p.m., another breastfeeding session or a snack and milk. Try dinner at around 5.30. At 6.30, aim for a final milk feeding. And at 7 p.m., it's night night. Again, this is sort of like a 12 hour template. If your baby's up at eight, start it then. If your baby's up at nine, start it then. Hope that this schedule works out for you. Should my toddler visit the doctor at 20 months? Your baby normally will not visit the doctor at 20 months unless you are late for a prior checkup or there's something particular that you want your doctor to be checking out. Bracey did go to the doctor at 20 months since he was a preemie and his doctor wants to see him every month until month 24. How much should my 20 month old weigh? The average 20 month old boy weighs 25 pounds, which is 11.4 kilos. And the average girl weighs 24 pounds, four ounces, which is 11 kilos. At his 20 month checkup, Bracey weighed approximately 11.3 kilos, which is 24 pounds, nine ounces. Bracey was only three ounces below the average weight after having been born 10 weeks premature. Yippee! Breezy really enjoyed the month of May, the highlight being his brother Headley's 18th birthday and graduation from high school. Spring really came and provided the opportunity for some lovely walks and for some beautiful flowers and a real opportunity to experience nature. Scooting, playing ball in the park, topped off an amazing month. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you back next month for month 21.